Just a disclaimer before we begin, this video discusses adult topics and is not recommended for minors. I will be dropping some names of actors and movies so if this is not something you agree with feel free to watch another equally awesome video of mine. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of a Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Alright guys, so I came across a very fascinating interview between a very famous ex-porn actress He's You're watching, guy. You're, you're somebody He's that must dying. be watching you're pornography dying. Hijab please, allow me, allow me please yeah? yeah. Who has decided to leave the industry and become a practicing Christian and now she actively encourages people to leave the business and just find God to be honest. With my relationship with my husband, he's the first man I ever did this with, but I waited until marriage to have sex with him. I love you. Before, it wasn't easy, but no. it's possible with God. And the person she's interviewing is called Nargis Fakhri. Now she is a model, a Bollywood actress, and she's even uh, been in a Hollywood movie as well called Spy. And the actors that she's worked with in Bollywood range from Salman Khan, Imran Hashmi, Ranbir Kapoor, even a flipping Snoop Dogg as well. In other words, she's certified. And in this interview, she was very open and she mentioned a lot of points that I think we can benefit loads from. And you know, you have a whole team putting all this stuff on your face and doing your hair and then you're doing these shoots and you look amazing and I remember coming home taking off my eyelashes, my weave, <laughs> like yeah. boob pads, everything and I'm looking in the mirror I'm like who are you? Mm. Now this was actually very honest for her to say because whenever we think of beautiful women we think that's how they look in real life and secondly we think that they're gonna be happy <laughs> and secure in their own body because they're not ashamed of displaying themselves to other people. But it was nice to hear that she reflected on this and reflection is one of the things that Allah encourages us to do many times. But the routines that we're in don't necessarily allow us to do that. And let's face it, adverts aren't necessarily going to make you secure because their job is to make you insecure and make you feel like you're not enough and their product will help you be enough. Even though I know the truth, I also yeah. got caught up in like, oh my god, I don't look like that girl on the magazine. Yeah. This is what I look like. A lot of us, no matter how woke or knowledgeable we are, get affected by what we see. I was looking at Instagram all the time because I was trying to keep up with my friends and other people and then other famous people. And I was telling my manager, I'm like, oh my god, my life sucks. Look at these people, they're having so much fun. I just want to be there with them or, or I want to be like this person. And my manager looked at me and she's like, girl, you think Rihanna's page, you know, it looks perfect, but you think she's always happy? And then she started pointing out other <laughs> yeah. celebrities. She's like, look, everyone's in your situation as well. Mm -hmm. They're feeling the same things. They're just posting something fun. She's like, look at your page. We went out clubbing, you posted a party picture. I know that you were not happy there, but you made everyone else think you're having the time of your life. Hey, Nargis admits the same thing. I mean, it reminds me of the quote, whatever the eyes see, the mind believes. And that's why we're told to lower our gaze. So if we're scrolling down social media, we see attractive people or we see people that are constantly happy in these provocative environments like clubs and wherever these parties, we will think that these people are genuinely happy. But when you constantly reinforce something again and again and again and again, eventually it breaks you down. Even if you got a rock. And just a drop of water falls on it continuously. I mean, what is a drop of water compared to a rock? But if it keeps dropping and falling on it, eventually a hole will emerge. Fame, like, I feel like it ruined my soul. Now this is a very strong and honest statement to make, frankly. But of course some people are going to say, Oh, she's just saying that to get attention. What attention? Somebody in her position will do better off if people think she's happy in her life. So, so I had to find a way to just back away from all of it and not seek validation in what other people are saying. Needing people to validate you is a very dangerous thing because let's face it, people's opinion of you change based upon what they feel they can get from you. So if they feel like they're benefiting from you, getting something from you, yes. Yes. <laughs> 
They're your best friend. They're happy with you. But as soon as they feel that that's run out, you're nothing, boy. Then they turn on you. And if your happiness and validation depends on them, you're gone. And an example is Nurgis herself because she says that she put on weight and then the people turned on her. In one of the previous videos of Anthony Joshua, he said exactly the same thing. It's a shame because everyone likes me fighting when I'm winning but hates me when I lost. <laughs> and the need for validation from other people makes us do very silly things. That's why you'll get certain people exposing themselves on social media just so they can get likes from strangers things or sleep with a director i mean yeah. i've lost jobs yeah because i didn't do certain things wow what of course this was something that sparked off the me too movement a lot of actresses still continue to do this and it's become somewhat of a norm so the fact that she's admitting that she doesn't do it uh, supposedly does show that she does have some shame I'm not like so religious, but mm -hmm. I do have that like it's like my, it's my secret. Yeah. yeah, and it's very personal to me mm -hmm. and I think I talk to God a lot. That's brilliant. Yeah, because this woman was doing some funky stuff and the fact that she still kept close to God and didn't write off her relationship with God is commendable because a lot of us will go through a rebellious phase might be a couple of hours, <laughs> might be a few days, a few weeks, months, or even years. But regardless, whenever we're going through that, people are very quick to write us off. And thank God he hasn't put forgiveness in the hands of people because let's face it, people are very stingy when it comes to forgiving other people and very unfair. So if you are going through something and people are turning against you, you and Allah that relationship should never be affected. Yeah, because even if your sins pile up to the heavens, Allah says, I will still forgive you. Again, when a lot of people see these models and actresses, they think that they consciously made that decision. Yeah, I want to be th this person or that person. But most often they're not. It's an insecurity, the need for validation from other people. And sometimes it's just paying bills. I didn't have boundaries back then. Right. So I always felt this heavy weight of like, oh gosh, I gotta take care of my family, I gotta take care of my family. So then that drove me towards constantly working. I looked at porn and I go, this is it. Like I was really doing broadcasting and journalism because although I loved it, I felt like I was going to be noticed. I was going to yes. be seen, that people were gonna see me on TV and that somehow made me better than, than who I actually was. And of course guys, yeah, people will say, oh yeah, I can't really blame her because she was going through this. But think about it, when things are going right, it's easy to make the right choice, but it's only when things are going wrong. That's the true test. Will you make the right choice or will you fall face first into the trap? And when you take the time to get to know someone and not have sex with them so fast, you're building emotional intimacy. Yes. And then through that, you're able to see the red flags. It's harder to learn them though when you're having sex with them. Yes, mm -hmm. because you can't get away. Because once you sleep with a man, your soul is intertwined with yeah. that man. Yeah. Whether he's good or bad, you're bonded. Now this is so profound, it deserves a video in itself. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. A lot of scholars and Dawah brothers get messages of sisters saying, you know what, this happened, this happened, and then intimacy is taking place. Now I found out it's toxic or now he's not returning my calls. What do I do? My, I'm heartbroken. It's this, it's that. And look at what these women are saying, that when you are intimate, a, a, a special bond is made and it's difficult for you to separate from that person. That's why we don't go into this sort of stuff. Alright guys, hope you guys benefited. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video was, I mean this woman has been used by the industry. I want to say used, here are the lyrics to one of the songs that, that she's in. I mean that's a bit excessive isn't it? I mean, let's decipher the message. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. It's literally in plain sight. And to be honest guys, being part of videos that objectify women and tell us that we can only achieve happiness through being in illicit relationships may seem innocent, but it affects millions of us in very serious ways. Now it does seem that she clearly doesn't believe in what she's actually putting out there. 
even though I know the truth, I yeah. also got caught up in like. But seen as she's you know, playing with our insecurities and desires to line her own pockets. Because as for the rest of us, we can spend the rest of our lives trying to find purpose in finding that perfect partner that we've seen in her videos and movies. We may or may not get one and then we are left heartbroken, depressed, maybe even hooked on antidepressants, intoxicants and even suicide. I mean marriages when they don't work out because of the expectations that have been constantly fed into our heads through Bollywood and Hollywood and music and all of this stuff, eventually it is gonna affect your relationship. But giving credit where credit is due, I'm glad she spoke out and I hope she does get some sense and she leaves that industry because to be party to that, each life that she's affecting in a negative way is gonna weigh her down in this world and in the hereafter. So hope you guys benefit from this, let's leave it there guys, until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.